Uh, Bannister Post. The, you're going about this the wrong way, man. Bannister Post has been following my pin.io video. What you want to do, what you're trying to do, Bannister Post, is have the pin output to arm a second flight controller and start recording at the same time for gyro data. Don't, that's extremely clever and maybe you could get it to work. But here's how Mark Spatz did it. So credit where credit's due. That's where I learned this trick. When Mark Spatz put two flight controllers on the same quad to compare the gyro and measure gyro data, all he did is he split the wire, the signal wire coming out of the receiver. So let's say you're using Crossfire or Express LRS. There's a TX pad on the receiver, right? You solder two wires to that TX pad, and both of them go to the two flight controllers on the RX pad. Now, one of those flight controllers is actually flying the quad, and the other flight controller is just sitting there and is real effing confused, <laughs> okay? But both of them will receive the receiver signal. Now, don't hook up the TX wire, because that'll be telemetry, and you don't want two telemetries co coming back. You want the receive the the, tr the the signal from the receiver going to the two flight controllers, but only the one that's actually flying is coming back with telemetry. Both of them will receive the signal. Both of them will arm at the same time. One of them will control the motors and fly the quad, and the other one will be like, "What the hell? Um, will it will it activate runaway?" No, because the throttle will raise. You might want to disable runaway protection on the on the recording one, because in theory it the the pit error is going to be through the roof, or maybe it won't. I mean, after all, they're both moving roughly the same. I don't know. I would I would probably disable runaway because the pit error is probably going to be all over the place on the one that isn't recording. But the bottom line is that's how you that's how I think you should do that.